Morning, YouTubies. How's it going? All right, today I'm going to tell you about the time I was rescued from quicksand. Yeah, I am serious. Legitimate quicksand. I never, until then, I never knew that there was quicksand in Missouri. Oops. Knock my glasses off my chain. But yeah, until then, I never knew that there was quicksand in Missouri. It's getting a little shadowy in here. I was 13 and my cousin was, Tony was about like 15, I think. This happened, whew, just trying to start this video, I'm like having a little bit of a panic attack. <sighs> oh. I don't normally talk about this. This is like really the only time I've, I'm going to be going into all details of what had happened. My mom and Anthony know a little bit about it, but they don't know all the details because it's hard to talk about. Okay. Okay. I was 13. Tony was 15. Um, we were on in my hometown, Excelsior Springs, Missouri, we were at the Lake Mauer Campgrounds, which is the Assembly God Campgrounds there in Excelsior Springs. My grandma lived on the campgrounds on the opposite side of the campgrounds, opposite side of the lake. It's, well, it was a little house that I lived in when I was between five and eight years old because my dad was a caretaker for the Assembly God Campgrounds, which is like Mauer Campgrounds. So she lived in the same house that I lived in previously. But anyway, um, so there was one day, uh, Tony lived with us. He's my cousin, Tony. I thought of him as a big brother, more than a cousin. Um, me, mom, dad, and Tony went down to my grandma's to visit. And, you know, being teenagers, me and Tony, we didn't want to hang around and visit with the old farts and everything. So we decided to go roam the woods back behind the campground uh, property. Well, I knew that we were going to be, you know, bopping around in the woods. So I grabbed dad's, which were mine at the time, because he threw them away. So I snagged them. Um, I had some old boots of dad's, cowboy boots, and they were too big for me. So when I walked around, it's like clunk, 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 clunk. But I wore them because I wanted to protect myself from snakes rattlesnakes, copperheads, whatever, while well, out in the woods. So Tony and I, we went and, you know, roamed around the woods, just being kids, not looking for anything in particular, just roaming around, have something to do besides visiting with the old farts. Well, um, finally, after a little while of roaming around the woods, we got tired and decided to head out of the woods and into the campgrounds property and back over to grandma's across the lake. So as we were getting ready to exit the woods, Tony was walking ahead of me. He was probably five, ten feet ahead of me. Being a typical guy, doesn't wait for us ladies. <clears throat> he was in our, you know, a hurry and everything. <sighs> he was ahead of me and I was pill farting around because I was looking at this and that and the other. I, I seen plants that I, wild edible plants that I recognized. Because over the years I've learned about different foraging plants that you can actually eat. You know, if, or even make um, tinctures with and medicinal stuff with. So that's what I was doing. I was checking different plants out and everything. And I was struggling behind. And of course it didn't help any to clunk around those big 
oversized boots. So, but, so yeah, he was ahead of me. And I just happened to step in quicksand. Oh my God. You talk about a scary experience. <sighs> that was definitely one heck of a scary experience. I hope I never go through anything like that again. Mm, sorry. Hiccup. <sighs> Trying to have a panic attack and have the hiccup. It's like, ugh. <sighs> Hang on. Well, before all this, I never knew there was such such a thing as quicksand in Missouri. Do now. But, um, I stepped in the quicksand, not knowing it was quicksand. I thought it was just dirt with leaves on it and everything like everything else in the area. I started sinking and I was sinking fast. So I ho started hollering for help from Tony. Luckily, he came back to help me. But by the time he even got back to me, he wasn't even that far ahead. Maybe, like I said, five, ten feet. Not far. But by the time he got back to me, I had already sunk up just a little bit past my knees. I mean, I was sinking fast. Makes me think of that... Um. I can't even think of who sings it. I think it's, um, I think it's Hank Williams Sr. How high is the water, mama? Might be Johnny Cash. How high is the water, mama? I can't think of the rest of it. But anyway, um, so, <sighs> give me a minute to calm myself down. This one's not a burp. This is actually just like my heart. Okay. So yeah, he came back to help me. I was thinking fast. I thought maybe I could reach my hand out and he'd be able to take my hand and just pull me out. But no, because where I had stepped, it was too far for me to be able to reach his hand and he, for him to reach me safely without me actually pulling him in. Oh, that would have been scary us both being in that. Mm-mm-mm. So, he quickly scoured the area and found a, a limb. It was probably about five feet long, five, six feet long, something like that. And used that to reach out to me for me to grab onto and help pull me out. You talk about... Huh, he pulled me out, but the boots didn't come out with me. <clears throat> they stayed there. They are still there to this day, I'm assuming. They're probably rotted by now. Because <laughs> his dad's old um, cowboy boots, and they were already scuffed up and fall apart and everything. The only reason I used them is, like I said, to avoid potential snakes. But yeah, they stayed there in that quicksand. I was so thankful when he was able to actually rescue me because that was so scary. So, we ended up walking out of the woods back to the actual campground property and walking around the campgrounds back to grandma's house. And I was sock-footed the entire way. 
that was painful right there. <laughs> but at least I wasn't in the quicksand. I honestly never knew that there was quicksand in Missouri until then. I was only 13 or thereabouts. Actually, I think I was 13. So, needless to say, I never went back into those woods. <laughs> or if I ever had, if I did ever go, I was planning on taking a walking stick with me, poking around before I actually stepped anywhere. Because I did not want to step in quicksand ever again. But, and I'm just thankful that Tony was able to get me out of there. Thankful that he didn't, was in the quicksand with me. I miss him. <sighs> Chest hurts now. I miss my cousin Tony though. He died when he was 35 to a massive heart attack. He was like a big brother to me. He was my cousin, but he's like a big brother to me. I'm my only child. So him and I were pretty close when we were that age. Uh, thank you, Tony. Still miss you. Oh, my God. Oh, man. I think that's the only time I've ever been actually rescued from anything was that dang quicksand. Didn't see a darn snake. Seen quicksand. Uh, after getting out of that, it was, I was thankful to go back to grandma's house and visit with the old farts. <laughs> so, uh, like, hallelujah. So, anywho, I just want to share that little story with y'all. And if you go out walking out in the woods anywhere, be careful. Because, like I said, I didn't know that there's quicksand in Missouri. I'm wondering if there maybe there's quicksand in every state, just in particular swampy ish areas. I didn't even know Missouri had swamps until then. I found out later that there's certain areas that are swampy. Yeah. But at 13, I didn't know. So, you live and learn, right? <clears throat> so, anywho, I'm going to scoot. I'll catch you guys again later. Uh, let me know if you guys have ever experienced quicksand. I hope not. And if so, I hope you didn't sink as far as I did. I, I have a feeling if I'd sunk up to my waist or even further, it would have been a lot harder for him to get me out because of the suction. I mean, it was like sucking me down in there. So I've heard that there are some people like kids and stuff that sometimes walk into quicksand just for fun, just to see how far they can sink and stuff. Honey, to me, that stuff is not something to play around with. My experience, I wasn't playing. I was just walking. I didn't know that there was such a thing as quicksand. So I wasn't playing. And I can definitely tell you I would not play <laughs> as fast as I was sinking. I do not recommend that. So, anywho, um, if you're new to our channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell. And I will catch you guys again later. Bye-bye. Oh, I forgot to add that um, my sinking in that quicksand is probably why I have a fear of drowning. Because I, I still, to this day, I have a huge fear of drowning. Actually, part of it could be contributed to when I was five years old down on the same campgrounds, but in front of the house that my grandma lived in, which was me and mom and dad's house at the time, because my dad was a caretaker of the Assembly God Campgrounds, Lake Mower. Five years old, I fell into the lake and my friend Royce was with me. And... I was mad at him at the time when we were kids because when I fell in, 
He didn't help me to get out. He just stood there. So I had to get myself out. I had to claw and pull at grass to get myself pulled out of that lake before I actually fell in and officially drowned. You talk about scary. And I was so mad at him. He was five years. I think I mentioned it already, but I'm not for sure. He was five years old, old also. I'm not mad at him anymore. Because now as an adult, I realized that he was just a little boy. He was scared. He didn't know what to do. He panicked and froze. So he didn't help me. But that is probably the main reason why I have fear of drowning still to this day. That was probably my biggest fear. Uh, um, so yeah, that was all I was going to add was that. So, all right. I'll catch you guys again later. Bye-bye.